I say it? Okay. Welcome back to DSRF Canada. I'm Andrea Lee, teacher at the Down Syndrome Resource Foundation, and this is my daughter, Michiko. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. Today, we're going to be working on number sense and counting. So if you look in Danielle's post, there... Uh, have you looked at it, Michiko? No, you have not. There's a lot more that goes into counting than just knowing the numbers. Oh, what, if they don't know? what if they don't know the numbers? Then that's why we're doing all these work at home to practice it. Oh, that's okay. So, Michiko has already done a lot of rope counting, which is just knowing the numbers, right Michi? One, two, three, four, four five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And she's done a lot of one-to-one -one correspondence, but we're going to do more of that today using this number line from our Learn at Home like, kit. It looks backwards if you look from this That's side. true. You're looking at it through the paper. So we've got this little number line. We've got little objects that will fit. Those are called Legos. Those are, that are called Legos that will fit in these little boxes. And those we're going to count. Are you ready, Michi? Those are my favorite. They are. We love Legos. That's why I wrote this new ones. Yes. Are you ready, Michi? Yes. So Michi knows all the numbers. She knows her stable order that we start at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now she's going to show us that she knows one to one correspondence as well. Michiko? Tiny. Six. How many? One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So Michi's counted the four to check her. Cardinality, I'm going to ask you, Michi, how many all together? Four. There's four all together. Can you give me four? Perfect. Thank you so much. It's always good to check because yeah. every so often you're going to get somebody who, when you ask them to yeah. give you four, they'll just give you this one, the fourth one, and then they're not understanding that four is the whole number that we need. Hey, Michiko. Yes. You switch them. What about this? What if I put them in a different order? Walk, 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 walk. How many do we have now? Four. We still have four. If I even take one away, I mean, it's three or... Okay, okay, okay. You're skipping way ahead here. But yeah, why... I feel, I'm like always excited for videos. You're so excited for videos, yes. And you've done a lot of math at school. So why I put them in a different order is if we wanted to test Michiko's order uh, Mommy, no, can you five? <laughs> to make sure that even if we count things in a different order, there's still the same amount. Do you want to do five? Yeah. Okay, and then that'll be your last one. How many? Perfecto. All over the place, different order. Five. It's still five. And now let me. How many do we have all together? Four, five. <gasps> you almost said four, but you fixed it. Oh, yes. Hey, you high five me with five fingers. Oh, we high five with five fingers. This is five. This is five. This is the number five. And this is five. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's five. I don't know what you're pointing to, but maybe. <laughs> no. Michi is generalizing fiveness. She's understanding how different w there's different ways to represent five, and that's really awesome. Good job, Meech. Alrighty. Shall uh, we say goodbye? What would you like to say to end the video? Again? You can say it again. I want to. No. You don't get to just tell them anything. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you, guys, to Canada. Perfect.